Hey everyone. All right, we've got to uh, become best friends with with uh, with Kuki. What do we call him? <laughs> what did we call him? Uh, Kybrem, Kybarem. Oh, that's right. We put something in, but it wouldn't let us have it for some reason, didn't we? That was weird. I don't know why it wouldn't let us have it. Hopefully, it wasn't like something horribly racist or something. I do apologize if it is. Oh, fucking Wooper. <laughs> Wooper just took us out. Oh, Kabarim. I'm not sure you're strong enough for this one, my, my guy. Let's, let's run. Oh, you might be dead. You might actually be dead. You got away safely. It's okay. You're not dead. You're not dead because we managed to get away safely. Whoa. Look at that licky licky. Look at the Oh, I dig that. What's that? Eighteen more? Jesus, so many. So many digs. Uh, okay, so what we gotta do is we have to uh, take our little friend friend around. I pressed the wrong button there. And uh, show him sights. So there's four sights like this. There's this one here. There's this one over here. And this one here, and this one up here. Look at all these places we've not been to yet. All these places we've not, like, checked out. Uh, I've checked... So, the, <laughs> I have checked these out on S.H.I.E.L.D., by the way. I went, I've been around the entire, uh, like, little island on, on S.H.I.E.L.D. And uh, this this is fucking boring. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't care about this. Like, it looks like something really, really fucking cool. And then when you go there, it's just, it's just bees. It's, it's just bees. It's not even the cool bee. It's just, it's not even bee drill. It's, it's a uh, cone bee. Which I'm not, whoa, there's a thing. Which I'm not like super excited about, but I do like Vesper Queen, to be fair. Uh, I do really like Vesper Queen, but it's just not as exciting as a bee drill, you know? Especially since cone bee is already in the game, so it's not as hype. Um, oh, you're stuck on the side of the river, huh? <laughs> Right, here we go. So I also learned you could come in here uh, prior to beating the game. Uh, you can actually come in here and do stuff prior. Oh, there's a diggler. Uh, you can come in like at level 12 or something, uh, I was told. So that's pretty fucking cool. Uh, I didn't realize you could come in here and do it uh, beforehand. Hello, I'd like to see the sights. Uh, enjoy scenery together? Yes, I'd love to enjoy the scenery together. There's a Pokeball there. Wow! Which is why I suspect that the Honeycomb Island is not one of the sites that we get to show with him. Because it's, uh, you might not have your bike. Uh, being, being with your Pokemon makes everyday scenery feel better and more colorful, doesn't it, don't you think? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. I do like my Pokemon. Oh, bugger, bugger, bugger. All right, man, we gotta be, we gotta keep a, we gotta keep a starch lookout for, for Diglets. So we've got a hundred and fifty of them to collect. Oh, there's one, there's one. Got him. Right, let's head to the next point. We're just gonna try and head to the four points. We'll catch any diglets. Well, we, I mean, we're not gonna we're not gonna go around and collect all 150 diglets. Oh, there's a swirly over there. Cool. Um, yeah, we're not gonna go around and collect all 150 diglets because that would be crazy. That would be crazy for us to go and do. Uh, I mean, we could do it, but we're not we're not intending on doing it. But we're gonna get as many as we can along the way because talking to the diglet guy, uh, it will give us a, a lowland types. Oh, watch out for the for the whooper. Uh, yeah, it'll give us like super loads. Whoa! Uh, it'll give us like loads of uh, different things. It'll give us like a sand shrew, a load of sand shrew, which is dope, and uh, a load of meowth, which is dope. Love a load of meowth. Uh, never used one, but I do like them. They are cool. Um, hello. You did? Well, show me. Wow, a magnemite. I, me having a Magna Zone, I would not know anything about a Magna, might would I? Uh, hey there, Struff. 
Yeah, you've got you gotta see a view from here. From here, from the ground floor. Wow, look at him. Wow. Isn't it amazing? It looks like a scene from Pokemon Snap. Seems very excited about it there. Get stronger. Well, it's almost time. We're almost the, the best of buds. Almost the best of buddy bud buds. Which way do we go now? Uh, hold on, I need to check. Uh, old Mapo. Um, there's this one here, which is the Tower of Darkness. And the desert. Alright, I think... How do we get there? Can we get there from up here? I think we can, maybe? Uh, look at these nooks and crannies. For the digs. For the, for the diggy boys. Oh, there's a lady here. Hello. Oh, I can see one. Hey, I come from a different region. I've been looking for some Pokemon. Maybe you have a Marowak from here? Uh, we don't have a Marowak from here. Which is a shame because uh, the Ghost Fire Marowak is fucking dope. A lovely Alolan uh, Marowak. That was on my team in Sun and Moon. I really dig that one. That was really cool. Uh, oh, here you go. This is the Tower of Darkness. Yo, look, here's another member of my Sun and Moon team. Yeah, boy. What's up? Like, Whoa, man, you see that swirly over there? Isn't it dope? Like, yeah, dude. Gotta love the swirly, boys. Wow. To be honest, the landscape doesn't look super polished, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think this game looks particularly ugly at all. Like, I think it does look pretty good, and it looks beautiful in, in certain spaces, right? But I think Pokemon Let's Go actually looks better, right? Like, it actually looks looks better. What is it? Let's have a look. Let's have a look what Swirly Boy is. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a... It's a... Vespa... Vespa Boy, Spinny Boy. That new bug thing. I forget his name. Um, how do we get to the desert? I'm going the wrong way. The desert is through the tunnel over here. Whoa, Kangaskhan, watch out. He's gonna take us down. Oh, the lady. Hello. Oh my gosh, that's the most awesome Pokemon. I would love to. It's a Cubone. Yeah, no, I just saw him too, dude. He's right there. Oh, that's actually a sand shoe, to be fair. There he is. <laughs> oh. Was that not an item? I thought that was an item. It was an item. I just missed it. Ah. Hello. Oh, it's an item right there. Forward. Hi there, Shrif. Are you going to see the view from here? Uh, come on, why don't you and Kufu join together? Alright, I'm gonna. Oh, he's so happy. Uh, you're now best friends. Master Mustard should really be happy with you. How well you're getting along. Okay. Uh, being with your Pokemon makes everyday scenery feel better and more colorful, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, the other dude said that too. Look at this she shitty little desert. I hope the new environment isn't like this. Like, the next environment, I hope it's not like this at all. Oh my god, it's so annoying to get things on your bike. Like, I... <laughs> Cause this is this environment is just kind of weird, you know. I just hope it's it's completely snow, like the entire island is snowy. Maybe you can make like a cave, like a volcanic cave or something, like inside. But like, mostly keep it like snowy. Like don't don't separate it all into this one little thing. Like this little tiny little tiny thing. This little tiny island that we got. I keep pressing the wrong button. Sorry. Has got like, here's the desert part, here's the forest part, here's the meadow part, here's the swamp part, you know, here's the water part. It's like, oh. it's like, is if it's meant to be an environment, then make it an environment. Don't, like, don't force every little aspect of the environment in. 
And the only the only environment that isn't really here is the snowy environment. And I'm assuming that's because that's going to be in the new area. So that's that that that's kind of my hope. I don't want them to like shove in every fucking environment. Because when you shove in all the different environments, it just feels kind of like standardized, should I say, you know. That that's that, that's the best way to really that's really the best kind of way to explain this entire DLC, at least the way I feel about it. It just feels very standardized and just by the numbers, you know. But look, here's the forest section. You gotta have a forest section in your Pokemon game. Hello. Sure, show me. Wow. <laughs> wow, yeah, that bro. <laughs> Thanks. No, we ha really haven't caught, like, many of the normal boys around here, huh? Oh, shit, look, there's a thing there. How do we get that? Uh, oh, here we go. A uh, blue apricorn. So, yeah, like, that that's kind of my thought process on it, on this DLC as an entirety. Like, I don't... Ooh, Sludge Wave! That's a good one. Like, I don't, um... I don't hate it by any means. Uh, I quite like that there's more to explore in Pokemon Sword. I just wish that there was something, something different. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I gotta explain how to explain it. Like I don't think it's well balanced either. Because if we came in here with our regular team, we would have stomped on everybody, right? We had to build another team just for it to be a, like a normal paced game. And and I know you can't put everything at level 100 because not everyone has everything at level 100 you know by now and people who have got it at level 100 are just going to come here and shit on it because it's it's so e easy to whoop so i don't know i don't think it's balanced very well but i don't think you could do much to balance it without balancing it according to your opposing person's team you know uh all right yo dude uh, what, what's this? What's this? Let's see how you and K Kafubu are getting along. Brimor. <laughs> good, good. You two are just, uh, just the best of friends now, aren't you? Kafubu really has become more confident. How wonderful. I dare say, I think you're both ready. Follow me, you two. Okay. Dum dum dee dee la dee da. Great. He's just singing. He's bro as I to sing us a song, old man. Phew. I guess this is as good as far as any. Now then, Struff and Kafubu. You could, you could call him by his name, dude. Uh, if you want to become stronger, there's special training gowns just for Kafubu. Uh, prepare yourselves for the Towers of the Two Fists. There's one over there. Okay. Uh, the blue tower is the Tower of Waters. And the tower over there is the Tower of Darkness. Choose wisely, since you'll only be able to climb one of the two towers. Kabu's fighting style will change depending on the tower you choose. And the type it gets will change as well. Uh, each tower has five stories, all which has a, f a tough opponent waiting for you. Make sure you level up Kafubu properly before climbing up. You can reach both of the towers by heading through the Forest of Focus. Uh, you might even be able to find yourself a shortcut if you ride your bike across the river. Uh, I'm really looking forward to when you two make, make it to the top of those towers. It's going to be so exciting. Okay, guys. Uh, okay. So we got to make it to the top of one of those towers. Which tower do we want to do? Do you want to do the Tower of Water or the Tower of Darkness? Uh, I would flip a coin, but we don't have a coin. Let's go to the Tower of Water. Uh, because we know what they both look like. And I think the multi-strike boy looks kind of cooler. Uh, like, breaking immersion. Uh, <laughs> I think, according to the trailer, I think the the water boy looks cooler. So let, let's do the Tower of Water. But we'll do the Tower of Water next time, obviously. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh wait, before we go... We should train up Kafubu a little bit. 
We should give this boy some candies and see where he lands, and maybe give him some moves. Because I don't think he's gonna, I don't think he's gonna handle it in there at level ten, you know. So I think we give him some candies real quick, and then whoa, look at that fucking thing. Um, and then we, uh, then we sort it out, right? We give him some candies, and we give him some moves. Make sure this boy is firing on all cylinders. Then we take him in. All right, let's uh, let's do it. Bang. Uh, we gotta give him an item too. I don't know what to give him though. Um, right. So twenty made dirt or way too high of a level. So let's give him like eight of these. Fifty-seven. Let's to learn aerial ace. All right, that's a pretty cool move. Yeah, yeah. Learn aerial ace. I think if we give him two more, he'd probably be dead on dead on point. Uh, scary face. We don't want him to learn a scary face. Uh, headbutt. You could learn headbutt for now. Get rid of enjoy for it, I guess. Uh, brick break. Hell yes, learn brick break. Um, you just get rid of just get rid of rock smash for that. Okay. Detect? Okay, yeah, that could be good. Let's give it focus energy for that one. Detect is just like protect, right? It's the same thing. Bulk up? No, I don't want bulk up. Um, Iron Head? Iron Head could be good. Get rid of Headbutt. Neither of them are stab, right? But Iron Head's just a little bit stronger. Plus, it wasn't flinch. Oh, Headbutt does the same, to be fair. It's just ten. It's just ten power stronger, and steel type, so it might come in handy. Uh, Wants to learn dynamic punch. Uh, which one is dynamic punch? Dynamic punch is that. Uh, I don't want that. Uh, counter. No, we don't need to learn that. Close combat. I do like close combat, but. Uh, Loads of stats. Nah, let's not. Let's just not bother. Focus punch. No, I don't want focus punch. That's a two mover, right? Uh, right, we want to do two more. 62. Alright, let's give you one more. 64. I think he's a, he's a level below these boys, but I think that's probably quite good. Alright, let's give him some Dynamax candy too. Let's give him 10 of these boys. Um, what is this? This is tax that? Alright, let's give him a bunch of these. Just to help, just to help him out. Just to boost him up a little bit. Um, this, uh, increases critical rate. Okay, I don't really care about that. Uh, what item should we give him? Uh, King's Rock could be good. Sometimes make him flinch. Focus Dash could probably be good, just in case he gets fucking <laughs> obliterated. Um, heavy duty, no, a muscle band, uh, there's a handheld, do strength, slightly boosting the power of physical moves, like, I think that one is, that, that, that's the one, right, that's the fucking one, he's like all physical, uh, man, his HP sucks though, right, I guess he hasn't evolved yet. Uh, we haven't got no HP ups, I don't think. Uh, we can go to the bottom and see if we have some. But I don't think we do. Nah, we don't. We don't. Uh, Alright, that's fine. Alright, next time we enter the Tower of Water. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all then. Bye-bye.